What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about resizing and saving our images within Photoshop. I've already opened up a document, our resize document, the one that you guys are going to be working on. And we're going to resize it, then we're going to talk about different ways to save it. All right, so there's two different ways that I can get to my image size in the drop down menu. Okay, I'm going to go up to image and image size, is how I change the image size. Or I can do the shortcut of that, which would be Control, Alt, and I. And it brings us this little palette. Now what we're going to talk about within this palette, pixels I'll go over later on. Or we've already gone over, I apologize, we've already gone over during class. But right in here is my document size. First thing I want to do is I want to make my image as close to 4 by 6 as I possibly can. So I'm going to make the width 6 inches and my height changed a little bit, but not too much. But it's close enough to 4. Notice how this link is on. If this is off, you need to make sure that it's on, otherwise it's not going to restrain proportions. Okay. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about our resolution right down in here. Our image resolution is how many pixels we get per square inch in our document. Right now we're set up for 300 pixels or 300 pixels per square inch. Anything above 200 for us in this room is going to work perfect. Okay? But what we got to talk about it with this is the quality of the image. All right? The lower the resolution, the lower the quality. The higher the resolution, the higher the quality of the image. Also, if you look, it changes the file size. Right now we're at a 200 resolutions per for our pixels per square inch. And right now our file size is 617 megs. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the resolution. We're going to change it down to 72. Okay. Look at how tiny the file size got when we changed the resolution. We change the quality of that picture to a lot less quality. So we want to change that back up to 300 and watch how the file size increases. Okay, we need to be aware of that. Then tell it okay. Now what I want us to do is I want us to save. There's two different ways that you are going to save in here. All right, if I go up to file, Save as. You don't want to hit save yet because you want to save it somewhere. If you just hit save, it's not going to save properly. It's just going to try to resave over the other image, and we need to save as. So I go to save as or control shift S, which is the shortcut. I love shortcuts. And I'm just going to save it right to my desktop. And the first file format I want to talk about is a Photoshop document. Okay, this is good so you can come back and alter it later. It's going to save the layers. It's going to save different masks that we've created. And you need to make sure that if you're going to come back and edit the image, you save it as a Photoshop document. The file extension is a .psd. You have to make sure that our document says .psd when saving our Photoshop documents. Okay, That is one file format. Then if we hit save, it's done and it's saved. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to resave it as something else. So I went file save as or my shortcut, which was control shift s. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. So as you can see, the file extension is .png. And this is if I am done. I do not need to edit this any longer. This is for anything else that we're going to be working on. It's to put it in InDesign. It's to put it up on our Wix website. It's to put it on the web. Whatever you want to do once you're done, make sure you save it as a PNG or a ping. Okay, it's what it's called. And again, make sure that my file the extension is .png and then hit save. Make sure you know where you're saving it. Make sure you're saving it to your I drive. And then we hit save. And I've already saved it once, so I'm going to replace it and then tell it okay. That's all I got for you guys today. Enjoy.